We're heading off and away from the Union Mine. It's right there. It was amazing. It's a big canyon. Some of the oldest mines are in that canyon. Six Mile Canyon is where it all really started. And it's what prevented Utah from taking over the state of Nevada, really, when they started mining there. But you have this old, looks like kind of like a stone vault. It's just a small little room. And uh, there's fencing up there because there's a very historic graveyard. It's actually like 11 cemeteries that you have up there. But I had uh, taken some, you know, some EMF and some EVP. It's just not much you can do. During the day, sometimes you can come out to these places. You know, you can get some readings. You can... Sometimes you can get a surprise EVP. All the sites in Virginia City are haunted. The mines, the mills. Let's face it, the miners died. The men died. It was a dangerous job. And uh, walking down the road, it is a lonely road. I don't have a team with me right now. This is kind of just, you know, we're just wrapping up a second exploration to try to find out the connection between the dump and the mill below, 300 feet below, and in the Union Mine, that's 300 feet above. And I came across that vault, and then there was another building just 100 feet, 150 feet away from the mill ruins. All of these places contain history, and, uh, you know, it's a, it really is amazing history. But uh, I just, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we did it. The Paranormal Ghost Society is not just a paranormal group. You know, it's a para-adventure group, and we'll take it as we come. If we don't find ghosts, we'll let you know, but we'll still put it on our site because we want students and, and new people that are introduced to urban exploration, paranormal investigate. We want you to learn something and how it's done and the commitment we make, you know, walking in this cold snow and being here taking these EVPs and everything else. But uh, I can switch to night vision real quick as we go in, and I'll give you a brief tour. This is... The floorboards are all gone. Wood beams. An old wood stove. It's This is historic. I mean, I would not doubt if I had gotten something here. And I'll take out my EMF detector. We'll do EMF readings one last time before we leave. Is anybody here with us? If you're here with me talking to the recorder, give me a sign you are here. It's very important when you're in paranormal investigating. You have to be. You have to have personality. You have to be able to talk to these spirits, and they're not always here to listen. Uh, at night, I bet you if I walked in here at night, I might get something. You know, it's hard to say why at night. I don't know. It's less quiet, less people hiking around. But the EMF seems to be very. Yeah, it's 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 not doing anything right now. But we do have, besides a lot of rat defecation and pellets. We do have another area here that we can explore. And uh, this is also part of the stone building. And it's two separate rooms. It's like makes you wonder, well, what was the purpose of this? And, and we can count it as a union mine. It's, you know, 150 feet away, and it is also part of history. But uh, come on in here, the same situation. Uh, obviously, it's overran by rodents. It's there's a bowl down there. You have graffiti. If anybody's here, me give me a sign. You're here talking to the recorder. Def whoa, we're definitely here for some EVPs. And it looks like people have kind of camped out here a little bit. It's old. It's historic, and it's heavily vandalized. But uh, it's still an interesting little piece to stop along the way of the road between Union Mine and uh, Silver Terrace Cemetery. So we actually found a lot of mills and mines today. And that makes me happier than uh, pigs rolling around in their shit, you know. I mean, to be able to just walk around this town and find one site after another site. Some sites you don't even know about. They're not labeled. You have to get on foot and you have to find them. And last of all, we have, i got to be careful here, a half-buried building of stone and it's cracked open it has a roof it's so small of a room it makes you wonder what was in there it has a little bolted piece of metal as if that was the entrance and it kind of caved in right there so there's a lot of a lot of history here and uh it's a long ways down these roads down below you see these roads right here extremely treacherous i just got done off-roading on them 
nearly got stuck in a foot of snow and ice, put it in four-wheel drive, just so I could go down and take a picture of the part of the mill below. But that canyon right there holds a Jewish cemetery, it holds mines, it holds mills, and we're not done with this area. We're going to come back to the entire Virginia City area. I promise you that when this is all said and done, the Paranormal Ghost Society will traverse, adventure, and visit many paranormal and non-paranormal related sites. And this is a historic area, and it's, it is actually a very important area to the history of this country when it comes to mining and metals, and, 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 and these metals provided a way to build this country, the economy, the everything you see, you know, the buildings, the structures. It was a very important industry here in the West. As a matter of fact, I'm walking straight ahead. I can see a mine on a hill. I can see the A-frame, the tailings, the, the little metal mill, a couple buildings, old wood buildings, way up straight ahead of us. So it really is an amazing area. And from what I've learned, I've investigated some of these cemeteries and mills, and I've had some strange things happen. I once was walking in a mill. I was near the cyanide tanks where they used to have cyanide, which was used to process the precious minerals from the ore. And I banged twice, something banged twice back. I banged once, it banged once back. I asked for it to do it, and it did it. And I had the footage, and someone stole it. This summer when I was out fishing, they broke into my car, stole the camera. I never, I never was able to get it off my, my recorder or anything in time. But the point is, is that we know this is a haunted area. We've worked with it. And yeah, there's a lot of groups, and there are a lot of gimmick groups, you know. We'll, we'll give you tours, pay us, and they're all dressed in black and trying to look all creepy in costumes. And, you know, Virginia City deserves more respect than that. These are play We go to these places. We go to the risky places. We assume all liabilities and risk. And we do it because we enjoy the history. We enjoy the ghost. And we enjoy bringing it to our viewers. And I'm hiking down this road, and, you know, it's cold as fuck. But you know what? This is what it's all about, man. And, you, and if you can do me a favor, you can give me a like on all my videos. Uh, they are, it's a, what we're doing is a reality type of production. You know, these clips are reality, these off-roading clips, these night clips. It's what it's about. And you can check us out at www.paranormalghostsociety.org. I don't know about you, but... Uh, this Lord is going to go ahead and, uh, Lord Rick here is going to get himself a nice juicy cheeseburger or something, because we've done at least, I'd say at least today, about five miles, six miles worth of hiking around the town. Call it urban exploration, call it hiking, call it what you will, but we brought the gear, we did the investigation, and now we're just wrapping up a very successful evening, and right there ahead of us on the hill is the Masonic Cemetery, and it was the Masons that built up Virginia City. It's graves, it's structures, it's mines, and today, they still stand. Of course, we're not here to go to the cemetery. We have been there, and we will go there again and do some video production work and all that, but we are here today to bring you Haunted Mills and Mines of Virginia City. This is your founder, your author, your producer, and your talk show host of Angel Line at Radio, and the Paranormal and Ghost Society, Lord Rick.